What is going on YouTube? Today, I got something that's ooey, gooey, cheesy, and chickeny. So I went to Montana's. You could see, maybe, it says Montana's there. But I went to Montana's, and I went, and I got buffalo chicken mac and cheese. I had it on the channel before, probably like a few months ago, and I'm pretty sure I really liked it. At least I think I really liked it. So I went ahead and I got it again. Um, let me see if I can even like open this thing here. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. This looks like it has less chicken than before. So there it is. It's looking pretty good. Has like the six pieces of chicken there. Some cornbread or cone bread. If you guys know that meme of that Asian girl who says she's from Atlanta and she's like, I got cone bread. So got that here. But before we get started, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below if anyone trying to know what to talk about. I'm down to this. Always check out the timestamp description. Let's go. Yeah, usually they have more chicken in here. It sounds a bit different. Still tastes good, but yeah, no. I'm almost certain when I had it the other time. They had more piece of chicken, but I'll go back and double check. Or maybe I won't. Who knows? Pretty good. The cornbread here. Cornbread's so interesting to me because it tastes good. It's like a cake. But it's got like little crunches to it. Like almost like a greeny texture. You know, it's a soap thing is pretty good. Not this good though. It's nice and cheesy. I like the buffalo sauce with it too. As for hot chicken, you asked me if I want my medium hot, I got hot, so. Not hot at all. But that's to be expected from Montana's. One thing I learned that if you want hot food from places, like, you can't really go to these like chains and stuff like that, like fast food chains, or just regular chains. Nine times out of 10, the food won't be too hot. However, there are some times where you can go and get like spicy wings, for example. It'll be hot. Like for example, if you went to like All Stars and got like their suicide wings, I'm pretty sure those will be pretty hot. Yeah, I just felt like getting this today. Something nice, delicious, easy. Quick to order, quick to get. Well, but how's your guys' today? Mine wasn't too bad. Now. I've been on a mission since yesterday. I'm gonna tell you guys what I've been up to since yesterday. So, like I said recently, I got like a new car. Not a new car. I got another car, right? It's a 2006 Chevy Cobalt. And I'm trying to sell the Elantra. Elantra is like not what the story is about, it's about the Cobalt. So, I. I guess I went and got the stereo switched out so now I can play music through like Bluetooth through my phone. But prior to that, I never actually listened to any music in the car, like the radio and stuff like that. So I never actually noticed that one of the speakers, the passenger door is rattling quite a bit. And unfortunately it's not rattling to the point where it's like a little bit where I barely notice it, like it's loud. Like no matter how loud it plays music, the rattling is louder. So I was like, okay, fine. Let me find the same uh, speaker. So I found the same speaker. When I could just take it out, put it back in. I don't have to do any wiring. I don't have to like drill any holes for like a mount or anything like that. Did that. I watched a YouTube video. A YouTube video seemed easy enough. Seemed easy enough. 
So now bring us to last night, show time, game time, time for me to switch the speaker. So I go downstairs. I first I have to take I have to use a pick to take apart like some of the screws that are behind that are like one in the cup holder. There's like these little like they're kind of like doors like they're like little things that hold the door together to like I guess the you know the panel to the rest of it. I'm not a mechanic so sorry if I suck at explaining this but I released the two screws those are fine. Next I had to take off you know the passenger door switch where like you lock and unlock the car and like put the window down you have to disconnect that from the from like the wire so that way it can like you could like take the door off or else it'll just be stuck to the door and you won't be able to take it off and like it won't move so that's where the first problem was because in the youtube video he just pulled those off but my car i was not able to disconnect the wire from the switch i ended up breaking not the wire not the switch itself but something that was holding the switch together to the door it still stays because it's pretty stable at the same time i definitely broke something i can't even explain to you what i broke but i broke something well i can't explain it well but in the youtube video this guy was just like yeah I just pulled it apart it's just being held by push pins so difficult to pull that apart there's like five push pins and like two other like almost like screw type things that are holding the door there and I'm just like, why, how, like, how, how does this work? So I pulled it apart. I got the door half off. And then there's the doorknob, which is like connected to the door itself. So I had to figure out how to take that off. Mind you, I'm doing this at midnight, right? Midnight, it took me two hours to do all this because I was like trying to figure out how to do it without breaking it. Because once I broke the switch, thing, little piece of the switch, I was like, okay, I need to be careful. So I finally got the door half off, disconnected the doorknob and all that stuff, right? I get to the time for me to take out the speaker and replace the other speaker. The speaker has a switch, like not a switch, sorry, not a screw either. It's like a bolt. Not when you can put a screwdriver in, but like an actual bolt that you have to turn. Now to me, I'm like lucky. I have like one of those like wrenches that go eh, 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 and like uh, screws and unscrews things, you know? I have one of those, but the size I have is too big. Cause this bolt is small, super small. So I'm sitting in my car for like an hour trying to figure out how I can do this. And it occurs to me, wait, I bought this like, I don't know what it's called. Like a pry bar thing that I bought from Canadian Tire. I also went to Canadian Tire and I bought the pry bar and I bought the pick. But the pry bar has like little things in the middle of it. So the bar is like, imagine this is the bar in the middle. There's like little holes that where you can like unscrew things. But where the where it's located, like the speaker and then the uh, bolt, it's like impossible for me to get it in there and do this because there's like the speaker under it. So I can't even move. Absolutely insane. So I sat there and I sat there. And I was super super sad because i was just like do i have to come back down tomorrow and redo this do i have to go to canadian tire tomorrow which would be today and get the appropriate like bolts and nuts or whatever tool it is to take out this bolt and the answer is yes because i spent two hours down there and i could not figure out how to do this without the proper equipment so i sadly put it back together my door Hopefully did not bring anything back together. And I had to go all the way back to get an entire today, which I just came from. I went to get an entire and then I got this food. Now this video, I'm gonna go down and do it. So you guys don't know how sad I was when I took apart that door panel, like took it off and realized I could not take out the speaker. So I said, I'm about to go down and do this again after this video, like right after I'm done this video. And hopefully, Hopefully it works. Because my worst fear will be doing this, putting the speaker. And then it just doesn't work. I'll be honest with you guys. I might lose it. I might just lose my marbles if that happens to be going out with you. If that happens, I'll probably just return the speaker that I got. I just deal with the rattling. 
it's not like the car is my forever car, so it's whatever, but still. And now the passenger side window may or may not go slower than it did before. I could not imagine being a mechanic. Because listen, what I'm doing is probably considered the easiest thing ever. Mm. Actually changing my headlight bulb was, is the easiest thing I've ever done. But what I'm doing to some might be considered like super, super, super easy and it's already frustrating me, so. Final bite. Ooh, that was good. That was good. That was exactly what I needed. Especially since it's my Friday. I made something good and delicious to eat just to like celebrate the another weekend's here, you know, because I wish I was one of those people who was excited to start work, but man, hopefully one day I'm in that position to be, you know, excited to start work and like Monday is like fun day, you know, but hey, one day, hopefully when YouTube's like my full-time thing, that will be the case. But until then, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Anything you want to try, anything you want to talk about, I'm done to do that. So always check out Chess in the side. And yeah, that was Montana. It was really good. Um, I'm going to give it the same score as I gave it last time, like seven and a half, seven, eight out of 10 around there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little story of uh, unfortunate events when it comes to me changing the speaker in my car. I'll let you guys know next video how it worked out, how it, uh, how it played out for me, if anything else unfortunate happened. But yeah, again, thank you for watching Montana 7, 7.5, 8. Uh, 10 first year review and peace.